So I forgot to look up this guy, Richard Grannon, about PTSD. Pig Moon wants me to like look it up and stuff. Um, I'm gonna watch the video and uh, the video's kind of playing right now, but I'm gonna just react to it because I have some form of PTSD from all the fucked up shit in my past and bullying and all that crap. So just like watching a video of this guy and how to cope with it, I guess. So. It is exactly what it says on the tent. Don't get this complicated. Don't think it's complicated. It really isn't. The way to know that you've achieved emotional literacy is when you go from being illiterate to literate. And you go, I don't know what those words mean. If you're illiterate, it means you cannot read and cannot write. If you're literate, you can read and you can write. So with the emotions, when your emotions come up, if you're emotionally illiterate, you can't read and you can't write, meaning you can't read your emotions. You look at the emotion and you go, oh, that's a big glop of blech. And I'll say to you, what is it? And you go, oh, I'm ticked off. I'm really mad. You'll give very uh, crude, non-nuanced descriptions of your feelings. So you won't be able to tell them what your feelings are. So all of the feelings get lumped together, grouped together. They're crude and they're all grouped. They're a mess. Yeah, I agree. They're all like grouped. You can read your like all the bad thoughts. You write the emotions down. You see PTSD. It makes you have like a, a you then you get anxiety and all that shit. And specific descriptions of your emotions. And you go, yeah, all right, well, that's great. Who's that going to help me? When we've been in a traumatic environment, a traumatic relationship, a traumatic childhood, over time, what starts to happen is we lean towards emotional illiteracy. It's kind of a survival response. If there's too many emotions going on, well, all of our emotions are painful during trauma, during the imprisonment, during the unpleasantment of that ongoing experience. And so we lean towards illiteracy. And it helps us to survive the stress. Mm, it's like a coping a mechanism. Who lives an illiterate life is living a life. It's like from survival instinct or something. Negation. So you're not allowing the self to be. And also, this is what a narcissistically abusive parent or partner wants. You wipe yourself out, be codependent, have none of your own feelings, then you'll have none of your own desires. Because if you can't feel, you can't want. And if you can't want, you can, you'll can you have no direction in life. You'll have no intent. You're almost a ghost on earth. You're not really here. And I know that that strikes a chord with people who really have the EBSR. They're like, hmm, that's a little too close to the bone. Because we feel like ghosts. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and attention. Yeah, it's not your fault when you have CPTSD. It's just fucked up. Like, it just, like the parent just emotionally abused you or sexually or physically, and they just, you, like in your head, you just get those thoughts and like flashbacks and dissociation. It's just, it's just crazy. I still get that here and there. It's just, it's nuts. Like, people think that, like, that's just so overlooked to see PTSD, because most people think PTSD, like, the other way, PTSD is, like, person in war trying to shoot people and, and, uh, for their country or whatever. But people who have CPTSD from how they were, like, developed as a kid, from their abusive, narcissistic parents, it's messed up. I, I say the way, like, they, like the guy was talking about illiteracy, like, pe like how I coped with that was, like, I would just dissociate. I would just zone out in my thoughts and, like, I feel like I'm, like, watching myself back then, um, like, getting abused. And all the thoughts would race in my head stuff. 
at least like that what that guy says be literate with the with the uh with your thoughts be specific of what they mean and try to like understand it why is it happening was it from a trigger or something or or was it something that you saw or heard? You know what I mean? That's how I that's how I look at it. Like my triggers. Complex uh, PTSD is fucked up. No one should go through it. Nobody. Comes from like from your parents to like bullying to anybody. Fucked up workplace. It's messed up. People should get punished for it. Should go to jail or prison, you know. Just damages your your brain. Like it makes you not want to do nothing because like your your thoughts fuck you up so much, you know. So, all right, I'll catch you guys with another one.